Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Last time we spoke with Skelter, one of the Anarchs, and told us of the, the ghouls that was in the Confession nightclub, who was, you know, going around telling people like Vampire this, Vampire that, and told us to get rid of her. Which uh, we kind of did, we sent her to the, the, the Vampire Flesh Eater that was in the dilapidated hospital. And we lost some humanity points on that. Rightfully so. Uh, I did kind of feel bad sending her there, but we had to get rid of her somehow, and I felt like that was somewhat appropriate. I guess we could have just killed her ourselves. Um, and we took care of Boris, who is the... Uh, who Venus, the, the owner of the Confession Night Club, still owed him money, I guess, or at least the guy felt the Russian Mafia felt like they, she still owed the money, so she, we took care of that, and now we are a silent partner with Venus, which means that we get money every now and then. Uh, 250 bucks, I think we got this time. I don't know if it's 250 bucks every time. Probably is, but hey, free money is free money. I'm not going to say no to that. And we also tracked down the Plague Bearer. Um, the people in the hazmat suits uh, that are going around afraid of this blood, um, this blood plague that's been going on. Uh, one of the residents of the Skyline Apartments, uh, named Paul, who was a ghoul to one of the uh, anarchs, uh, I believe, someone that Damsel knew at the very least. I don't know if he was her ghoul or someone she's knew. He, we found him dead, and a voicemail from Hannah the apartment, uh, with the apartment upstairs saying that she's also sick. We talked to her and found out that a resident named, of the Empire Arms named Jezebel Locke uh, was a client of hers, and that's where she got it from. And I still feel bad. We basically told her that, like, Paul's dead and die, like, rest in peace, bitch, like, that kind of thing. I, I Again, I still feel bad. I'm pretty sure it's because we had very low humanity. We have four humanity. We really need to get that back up. But anyways, and uh, we went to the Empire Arms to care of Jezebel Locke, and now we are on our way to tell Damsel the fantastic news. Mm. I guess it's through here. Nope, definitely not. I love how there's a constant purple hue in the sky. Like, I don't know if it's like constantly sunset or sunrise, you know what I mean? I don't want to talk to you. Move! I don't want to talk to you either. Dude, I would love to watch that opera. Skeleton astronaut with fucking tentacles coming out of him on a chessboard. With flying skulls everywhere. That I'd love I'd go to that opera. Ugh, can't. Bob Paul, he's dead. For a few days. He wasn't pretty. We told him to burn the blood and go to the hospital. Said he thought he'd get over it. Men are stubborn that way. This proves the plague bearer's gotta be found. Plague bearer's dead. Right on. Except we dusted a second one over near the convention center. They're part of some doomsday cult, apparently. No telling how many there are, but it's open season on all these sick sons of bitches. Huh. I'll start looking for the rest. So, how many are there? Angel and Farney, there's more than one playground around the city, and they all need to be destroyed. She has previously just talk, talking to some of the bums around the city. Uh, Let's do that. Let's talk to some of the bum bums. I need to ask you about the sickness that's been plaguing the homeless. <coughs> oh, you do. Well, I don't believe you. You're after my aluminum canes, aren't you? But you're not gonna get them. Just get away! She found me out. I, I was actually legitimately after her aluminum cans. She, she got me. You 
calm down, sweetheart. You know I've always been attracted to older women. Uh, what, you don't remember me? I'm your friend from the homeless shelter. Okay. All I know is that old Tin Can Bill, he's been jabbering about some kind of monster that took him somewhere and got him sick. And that's all I know, okay? And that's all I'm saying. Where's Tin Can Bill? Well, you can usually find him down in his alleyway, just across from that bar over there. Okay, thanks. Across the bar. Tin can bill? No, I'm guessing not. You look like a tin can bill. <coughs> Who's there, huh? Old Bill can't see too good these days. Is, is that you, Fred? I ain't got no booze tonight, so you may as well get the hell out of here. Uh, I don't need your booze, old man. Tell me what you know about this epidemic. Yeah, I might be able to. <coughs> but I'm awful thirsty tonight, mister. Could you spare five bucks for a man who's been down on his luck? Sure, here's five bucks. <laughs> Thank you much. <coughs> going to have to go pick up some hooch <laughs> for medicinal purposes you know <laughs> now I know you ain't going to believe old Bill because I've been telling my friends and the cops and everyone since it happened and people just say that it's the hooch talking and nothing more by the way I know I could have avoided giving him five bucks I, I figured I might raise my humanity because uh, you know I, I need that to happen, but we'll we'll see. With well, the way you smell, I'm not surprised they think that. It was a monster, you see, a monster with his face all twisted and ugly, teeth longer than your finger, and these eyes, piss yellow and full of hate. I've never seen eyes like that before. Still giving me bad dreams. So what happened? He grabbed me. Threw me over her shoulder. Took me to the bad place. The dark place. <laughs> oh, God. The smell. Worse than anything I've... And then he bit me. My neck. Oh, God. It was horrible. Don't remember too much after that. Blacked out and woke up here in my alley. <laughs> Haven't been feeling too well since then. <laughs> Bill, I need you to know I need to know where the monster took you. <coughs> Came up through the sewers he did. Just around the corner there. <coughs> Don't wanna go back to the bad place, friend. <coughs> Don't let the monster come back and take me there. <coughs> Oh my god, will you die already? By the way, I don't know if you've ever, like, play acted, like, trying to cough, like, heavily. It actually really does a number on your throat. You actually do end up coughing, like, for real. Good riddance, you pathetic turn. Oh my god. I really need to get my humanity up. So, sorry, where was it? Pointing your direction of the sewers near where he took his last breath as possible, home of the plague bearer. Okay, like here. El Rata. Hey, I'm getting some small nourishments from the rats. I'll take it. Oh 
God, do I go down there? Maybe I do. I don't think that was the right way, because that just brought me back here. Okay, and one more should do it. Yeah, now I'm full. Okay. Okay, perfect. This is the area. Oh yeah, this looks like a this looks like a boss battle area. You know what this looks like? In uh, Redemption, it looks like the area where we found um, was it the? It, I think it was like one of the Zemitsi elders and. Um, Oh, what was her name? The the chick that Kristoff was pining after. Was it not, not Annika? Something like that. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna save. But rotting fresh. Looking for a free meal, little bloodsucker. There's meat galore in my kingdom. <laughs> What's going on? You got a name or something? Business card? Brother Canker, they call me. High Lord in the diseased halls of the dead. Look around you. The blood. The bloated bodies. The maggot written mortal shells. These are the signs. The coming of a new age. Brotherhood... Brother Canker, you mean of the Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle? The Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle. The darkest dawn is almost upon us. Come, join us in these last nights, spreading our disease upon the earth, sharing this unholy communion with our human heart. <sighs> Why are you feeding on the homeless? They are the weak, sick, hopeless. I bring them a new purpose. They are the vessels of darkness, carrying the diseased truth in their veins. Interesting. Preach on, brother. The doors have been opened, the seals broken, and the final steps into the abyss. The terrible. Mysteries of the Ninth Circle. Sounds cool. Can I join up? Come. Join the disciples who have gathered here, floating in their own putrescence. I will show you the mysteries of our brotherhood as I feed on your flesh! Damn. Here I thought we were going to be friends. Oh well. To your funeral. Oh, yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> Well, good thing I saved. Well, 
another out flyer. The writing on this flyer reads, I am enlightened. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what that did. Oh, that opened that door up. That opened that up, okay. That opened that up. Okay. How many? I'm at 11 experience. Very, very nice. Let's go let Damsel know, I guess. Do you know what the symbol on this flyer is? Yeah, I've seen this. Pretty sure I've seen it around here somewhere. One of the buildings, I think. Okay, I'll go look for it. Goddamn kids. You guys no, we're not all the same. I'm cleaning up a fucking mess for you guys. Fuck you. Robert Dorn. Wait, what did that say? A murderous child pornographer. Oh, not a murderous child pornographer. Uh, that was from the, uh, from the, I believe it was the second episode when we were listening to, like, the radio. Uh, yeah, there was some, like, accusations going on about, like, uh, there was, like, the PSA announcement from, like, the opposing political party. Oh, um, yeah, let's see if we can raise his experience points. my stamina as well. Yeah. Okay. That's good. And that's where that was. You enlightened yet, brother? Show him the flyer. I see. Welcome to the Brotherhood. The bishop will see you upstairs. Thanks. Yeah, let's, uh, let's see. Bless you. 
I'm assuming that was a sneeze. You, you okay? Hey, did, did you get summoned? You're going up, upstairs to see the bishop. Summoned? You're n new to the Brotherhood, huh? Just got enlightened. I, I've been here a few days. <laughs> when the bishop wants to see you, you'll be summoned. And then you go up these um, these stairs up to the, the t temple. What goes on up there? I, I don't know. I mean, I, I hear things, but but I haven't been summoned. I had a friend snuck up there a few days ago. She said she saw things bad, bad things. Yeah. What did she see? Blood. She said, um. B blood everywhere. She, um, she saw a few of the summoned to try to uh, oh, to talk to them, but they just just stared at her with these um, these woo blank looks. You know, no, one of them uh, started reaching for her, and she she ran away. Maybe the Brotherhood isn't all it's cracked up to be. Yeah, yeah, I know. The b b bishop said we have to shed our um, our uh, our earthly fears on our journey to the to the ninth circle, but I'm, I'm scared to go upstairs. I I just uh, I just I just want to go home. You know I want to go home. Um. Don't worry. You won't have to worry about the bishop anymore. Please, I... I just... I want to go home. <laughs> I was hoping that would help with some humanity, but... Apparently not. What the fuck? Are you going to attack me? You are indeed going to attack me. Oh my god. There's a uh, there's quite a lot of you guys, isn't there? I didn't mean to do a blood buff, but sure. Might as well take advantage. Oh, Really? I can't remove I can't break that. Oh, hi. Oh, that's fine. You can die. Is that just like a shortcut? Because I don't want to take the shortcut. Oh, what's up? God damn it. That was gonna be like not a single uh, attack. Or like I haven't been hit once, kind of thing, you know? But I guess I can't say that now. Oh. That's a nice uh, way to end up. I guess. Yeah, that's where that ends up. Okay.
You know, I'm guessing uh, since there are so many rats around, I can't feed on them. I can't feed on the, the zombies. I'm guessing it's just one big circle. Nice critical hit. Might as well fill up my blood all the way. It'll follow me into that room. I'm waiting to see if there's like anything of value in these rooms. I guess not. It's always the females I'm critting on. I mean, I'll take it. Uh, that's where it came from. Ma, welcome, brother. I see you have been enlightened. Are you searching for something? Do you seek the truth? You've come to the right place, brother. We got more truth here than we can handle. <laughs> uh, you're the cause of all the disease, aren't you? <coughs> uh, uh, disease? Brother, you've got to open your mind. One man's disease is another man's sanctity. Here among the Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle, we have shed these earthly labels. Come, partake of our divine communion. Are you the guy I need to talk to? Ugh. I don't want to join up. They call me Bishop Vic. Shepherd of the Damned, your midnight guide through our last days here on Earth. Do you feel it, brother? The curtain being drawn back at last, drawn back by my hand, by the Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle. Last days here on Earth? Are you talking about Gehenna? Gehenna! Judgment Day, the Apocalypse again, brother. You are too indoctrinated into the antiquated beliefs of this material world. There is no rhyme or reason, no all-powerful and terrible God to watch over their children. You talk of disease. What about the disease that you and I both carry? Our flesh remade into nothing more than an abomination, feeding on our brothers and sisters like so many cattle. What God watched over me when that demon tore into my neck and made me into this monster you see before you? No, brother. There is no God who would tolerate such a thing. And so I have become God, and the diseases I carry to the masses will bring about an end of my own making. <coughs> Until we have all journeyed below into the Ninth Circle. I think this is a little out of my league. I'm gonna hit the road. The time for words has come and gone, my brother. You and I will take those last steps together and see what truth lies behind the curtain. 
Let the night fall forever on this cursed earth, and let the fruits of my labor bring a long and bloody harvest. It sounded like a good idea, but now you've gone to piss me off. Oh, Jesus. down here okay before I move forward I'm gonna do something I really I really don't want to do I'm gonna see if I can raise my humanity a little bit because I don't want to be this abomination like can I oh it's for cost you can actually raise your humanity by spending points We'll have to see. Oh my god. That's the beast taking over. Oh shit. I need to feed badly. Like really badly. Uh, can I even go in there? I can't go in there anymore. Okay, I'm gonna... <laughs> okay, I, I want... I would love to say that that fight could have gone a lot better. Probably couldn't have. Because that guy was annoying as fuck. Celerity... Celerity is a hell of a discipline. Um, and me feeding on that fucking vampire, or the, not the vampire, the fucking, I don't know what they're called, the homunculi, I guess, uh, was like the worst thing I could have done.
but like I need to feed really badly. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can drain this guy. saw. That's good. That is very good, and I can't go there. Yeah, those guys drink quick. I'm sorry, what did you call me? Okay, well... That'll have to do for now. Ugh, can't. All the plague bears are dead. You killed all of them? You. <laughs> so I guess you want me to thank you or something? Damn it. Thanks, okay? Well, cool for now, but just don't go bragging to everybody about it. Kindred are kind. I wanted. I just wanted to help the community. Righteous. You know, you just may have an anarch soul. I'll let you chew on that, Kenny. Some of the boys might have overheard our conversation and gotten the impression that I'm soft. Somebody in this joint's got to lack the restraint to keep their mouth shut. What if I said I'm sick of the Croy and I want to join the anarchs? I don't know. You seem pretty tight with Nancy pants up there. I'm playing him, but nine show me the way. I want a beer with you guys. So, you really want to help us out? Stay close to LaCroix. Smooch his ass, play ball. Keep an eye on him for us. You hear anything spicy, you come talk to me. Don't advertise. For all anyone in that tower will know, you're still a worthless, boot licking cammy doo boy. Okay, I'll keep my affiliation a secret. I'll humor LaCroix for now. Cool. With someone on the inside, we should be able to eject his candy ass a whole lot sooner. Keep us conscious, candy. We'll do. All right. Cool. Like for all intents and purposes, I kind of agree more with the anarchs. I see the Camarilla's point of view, but yeah, if they're fucking corrupt as shit, then what's the point? Uh, okay, where are we at? We have killed, killed all the plague bearers. Report back to the Regent, which is down the street here. Okay. Hello, Neonate. How can I be of assistance? Do you actually have a few minutes to talk with me? Of course. Okay, I've solved the problem with the epidemic. You have? Impressive, young one. What exactly was the source of the epidemic? It was a blood cult headed by a vampire named Bishop Vic, plague bearer. Tell me of this so-called bishop. He wanted to bring about the end of the world. I see. That end may very well be upon us. But to business, I have a debt to pay you for your services. Yes, you do. If you so desire... I can give to you a unique talisman that might be of use in the future. If that does not interest you, I can compensate you with hard currency. You decide. Um, I'll take the item. Talismans are always like a good, I don't want to say substitute, but ad addition to our stats, right? A wise decision, Neonate. True power lies not in wealth, but in the things it affords you. I hope this object serves you well. Thanks. A blood star. There was one more thing I needed. Of course. Uh, okay, actually, never mind. I'm out of here. What do we get? Blood star. All kindred have the innate power to push your undead bodies to the height of mortal capacity, but only for a moment and at a dire cost of blood. This Eldritch Talisman was crafted to boost this ability. Blood buff has twice the duration. That is awesome. 
that is totally fucking worth it. That is totally worth more than cash. Okay, so now what do we have left? Uh, you contact the nines. Okay, so we're done with downtown for now. Yeah, the werewolf blood. Oh, instead you heard another message on Durban Mill to meet some unknown location across the street from a bar. So we solved to deal with that muddy, the, um, what is it called? Like, uh, the one that Arthur Kilpatrick, the bl uh, bail bondsman was looking for. So it's some, so across the street from a bar, I'm going to assume they mean the last round. So we haven't looked in here, maybe something in here. Oh, jeez. Did you see it? That bloody mess? It's kind of hard to miss. He done tore him up. Right in two. Ripped him apart like a rag doll. Tell me what you saw. These two guys, the dead guy and other than where they showed up... I've been living here, so I hid. I thought maybe they was owners or, or cops come to clean the place out. Who was the other guy? A dead feller called him Muddy. So this dead guy and Muddy, what were they doing here? Uh, they was waiting on someone. They were going to do some kind of job, they were saying. But the person they was meeting, well, he was late. So the one guy leaves to find the phone and call him, and the, and the dead guy stayed. Well, that's when the killer, that's when he showed up. Showed up? One second he wasn't there, and then he was. Like out of the shadows he come up. Scared the shit out of the dead guy. I liked to scream, but I couldn't breathe. You're lucky he didn't. Oh, that killer, he grew these claws. I swear it, I saw it. The dead guy went white like he seen the devil. And then the killer grabbed him round the neck and lifted him up and started cursing at the guy. What did he say? Oh, I couldn't hear too good. Something about revenge for what he did or what they did. The killer made sure the dead guy knew who he was, and then ripped him open. It just tore him apart. He did it real slow, and made the guy scream. What about the other guy, Muddy? Did he come back? No, he never come back. Okay, thanks. See ya. Okay, that was weird. I didn't move, really. Like, he moved me. Well, there's the head. Yep, that's a head. Rolls around real good, too, it seems. Road race. And it's still rolling. Okay, you don't need that much physics on a fucking head. Um. So how do I fucking get up there? Can I move you? Can I fight fire with this axe, considering it's a fire axe? Probably not. Okay, let's go up here this way. Okay, lucky star room key. And a car stereo. Okay, you found the body of a shredded... You find the shredded body of Milton at an abandoned warehouse, but Durbin was nowhere to, nowhere to be found. You did find a key to Lucky Star Motel, though. Talk to a bum outside of an abandoned warehouse, the scene of the latest grisly murder. The bum witnessed the killing and told you killer grew claws and ripped the victim apart while saying something about revenge. Okay. 
Okay. Well, we found... Well, we found Durbin. We didn't find Muddy. Maybe Muddy went back to Skyline Apartments. Let's... Let's take a quick look. So let's talk to her, get some blood. There you are. I was beginning to think you ditched me. Ditch you? Only a complete loser would do that. Come here. And let's see if we can get some money. Money, right? Come back in a few nights. I'll have another ward for you. Okay. No, One, apparently not. Two, Sucks. three shots, people. Okay, let's head back to Santa Monica to my apartment. Need a ride? Uh, yeah, just drive. Let's head back to Santa Monica for now. Um it's the hops, girl. So first off, let's go to the pawn shop. Get rid of all the shit we don't need. Thanks for coming back. What you need? Alright, here's what we got today. Okay, nothing. Okay. So, maybe this we can sell? Yeah. Oh, I can't sell that. Okay. Uh, I have 733 bucks. Interesting. So sell, 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 sell. Sell all those. Sell that. Sell that. I have three of these, eh? That's only worth $25? Man, what a rip. What a fucking rip. Okay, so now I have 1048 That's good. Mercurio said he had some weapons he could sell us too, right? Let's check that. Uh-oh. Is he dead? Um. Ooh. Oh yeah, I forgot about this one. Guilty of eight. Yeah, I don't know where Mercurio is. Uh, and let's head up to our apartment real quick. Let's see if there's anything in our email. Nope. Okay. So that's going to do it for this episode. Um, I actually don't remember... How I'm supposed to get on the Elizabeth Dane. Um, I'll have to figure it out. We'll we'll figure something out. Um, I'll probably check up on old contacts next time. Like Arthur Kilpatrick. Go back to the hospital. See if there's anything there. Shit like that. Maybe talk to the Therese. Um, Delworth Jeanette. Whoever. Bertram Tongue. That kind of shit. See if they have any new dialogue. Um, but yeah. Looks like we cleared up... Um, downtown Ellie fairly quickly quickly more quickly than Santa Monica that's for sure um 
But as I said, like, uh, we still got two other locations, and there's going to be more side quests that pop up within downtown and within Santa Monica. So we're nowhere, to, uh, nowhere near done with these levels, or with these areas at the very least. In the meantime, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.